<laughs> Guess I just like weird stuff, what can I say? My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wave Lady and welcome to my channel. Well, I figured we would start out today at the Ephrata Goodwill. I usually don't get 20 minutes worth of video from this Goodwill, but I get a few minutes and I find some good stuff. So we're gonna start out here today and then after uh, we wrap up here, I think we're gonna head to Adams Antiques in Adamstown and uh, we're gonna go see what we can find there. So let's head into this Goodwill and see what we can find to buy and flip for a prop. Here we go. It's a beveled box, $1.99. It's a little bit um, <laughs> wobbly though. I don't know. I mean, it's probably 8 to 12. I do like the heart on the front of it and that kind of oily sheen to the glass. Here we have a toothpick holder. Welcome. What is this? It's got a mushroom on it. That's matchy matchy with that one. So we'll put those together. There's a fun school desk. Probably for dolls. I never did find this other pair for you. What is this? That is a resin shark coin bank. <laughs> oh goodness, he is a cute shark. Dollar ninety-nine. I'm gonna pass on him though. It's a colorful looking bird. I think that's another one of those whistles. You all tell me it starts with an O. I just don't even know if I can pronounce it. But dollar ninety-nine. Base. This was actually here the last time we were here and we chose to leave that behind. What is this? That is some magical wind swirly thing. That's $1.99. I think it's missing something and it also has a repair on there. I'm not really sure how I walked right by that and didn't even notice or acknowledge it. I guess because it was on the top uh, top shelf. What is it? Is it for umbrellas? It's six ninety nine. I don't know if I'm necessarily picking this up for resale, but uh, I think I could probably use that. It would look really nice with my new yellow table. I just kind of have to figure out what it is. Oh, look at that. Arabia, Finland. Oh, that could be something good. I like that. A nice floral pattern. Looks like some plates. Stick this in here. Alright, so I just nabbed this off the bottom shelf. This is art pottery. It has a signature on the bottom that I don't really recognize. $1.99. I love the pattern, the colors. So I'll take that. <laughs> Some vintage Tupperware. Alright, let's stick this in here. Very neat. I like it. <laughs> Good pick. So those looked interesting and I turned them over and I could see on the bottom they are made in Denmark. They do kind of have those Danish um, modern lines to them. It's a set of four candlestick holders, probably taper candlestick holders. There's quite a bit of uh, tarnish on those. We usually don't try to uh, polish stuff before we sell it, so we would be selling them as is, but a set of four, and I, didn't, I actually didn't see the price, uh, $1.99. Okay. So we're finding some stuff. There's some lighthouses, pug. That looks like it's got some age to it. Ooh, get it ah, the, the handle is actually what caught my attention. I thought, could that be Bakelite? But I think it's plastic. And I think the metal is kind of a chrome. Not positive on that. Okay, here are the mugs. Let's check these out. Hmm, 
like the pattern on that. I might peel the sticker just to see who makes those. Well, they are Cabela's River Birch. <laughs> those are nice mugs though. See? I will still love you tomorrow. Nothing's really jumping out at me. I think I'm gonna go this way because I did notice some candle votives over here. And I have to turn them over even if I just did it the other day. Nope, they are still Mikasa. <laughs> the other day when I was here, I had pretty decent luck looking through the purses. So I'm gonna do so again. I don't know what it is about this cork, but I just, I like, I like the looks of it. That looks like a, home, a homemade or a handmade bag. Alright, I'm not seeing much today though. Alright, what do we have back here? Is that... Is that made in Italy? Oh my goodness, wait, I must drop that. Um, yes, it is Fontanini, I think is what it's called. I think that's worth some good money. Activity stables, handcrafted. So apparently Russell Stroop made the nativity, and then all of the little figurines are from Italy. Um, and I've seen this set, this resin Italian set, sell for really good money and that is a really nicely crafted manger so I think we'll pick that up definitely there we go Christmas section delivers I'm gonna take this with me too because that's all the paperwork for that, uh, that manger limited edition better homes and gardens match those plates down there. This looks like some fancy birds. There's no markings on them though. It looks like something from Target. Curated American artists. Haley Bush. Mm. I like it, but I feel like it might be mass produced. There is one that I like back here. It looks like a hooked rug. It is. <laughs> it's very vintage. If it was needlepoint, I might buy it, but I'm not I'm not sold on the hooked rugs yet. I want to see what that table thing is. Oh, frustration. <laughs> Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> All right. Those look like they could be old. Older prints, but I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> he fell off his horse. What is now? Well, now I can't get anything out of there. I don't know why, but I really like this mermaid. <laughs> oh gosh. I guess I just like weird stuff. What can I say? Have to check all the little bags. I do like this basket down here. Oh, it's actually got some weight to it. I wonder if it has like a picnic set or something inside. Let's see. I like, don't know if I can do it one-handed. There we go. Oh, it's got something in there. What is it? Oh, it's a little table. <laughs> All right, that was kind of anti I? Beekman 1802 empty box.
Well, our total spend here at the Effort of Goodwill today was only $22, $22 in some sense. Uh, I feel like we got some really good stuff today. I'm so excited about that nativity. Uh, I can't remember exactly how much it sells for, but I do remember that it is good. Uh, so I hope all the pieces are there. I didn't really look through it. The whole set was four bucks. I figured the manger itself is probably worth upwards of $30. Um, so I feel like we did we did good today. Like I said, it's a smaller Goodwill. Um, it doesn't take me very long to go through the whole place. Um, but I'm pleased with how we did. So I'm going to head on down the road and I'm going to uh, meet you guys at Adamstown. Uh, or yeah, Adam. I'm going to meet you at Adams Antiques in Adamstown. So I'll see you there. Now this booth is 40% off. The last time I was here, I got some really nice um, Murano Angel figurines. I figured we would look through here and see if uh, there was anything else we could find. This looks like a rare range. Forty percent off of eighty-nine dollars. These usually have a so look, and the set appears to be in good condition on the inside. Usually, there's broken glasses. <laughs> the decanter's missing. Um, eighty-nine. Forty percent off. It does appear as though the shirt of the figure is is worn. Um, and here you have the coralline texture. Little Hummel box. 50% off the Hummel box. Oh wow, it has the music box and everything. This looks like Royal Bond. Is it Royal Bond? It is 40% off. I have one of these uh, listed right now. I'm not sure how much it's it's going for though. Well, I've wandered into the back of this booth. I'm competing a little bit with the music, but I think that we can make do. This looks familiar. This looks like something that Dagny picked up. I don't see a price on it though. Oh, there it is. Sixty dollars. Clay girl figurine. I kind of like her, but I'm not sure it's sixty bucks. The other one I liked was this back here. I found that interesting. Let's see what this is. This is 140 beautiful Italica arts, arts pottery vase, crafted and hand painted in Italy. There you go. That's the reason I like it so much. Um, I don't see any discounts on this booth though. I do want to take a look at the bottom. It kind of reminds me of the lamp I picked up for uh, the new house. Hand painted Metallica R's Italy. It is beautiful. Right here, I think that might be a signature on it. And I'm very tempted, but without knowing, I've, I don't think I can do 140. This turtle is super cool, and I definitely saw it as I was walking by and needed to take a closer look. Uh, it's $200. This is Turtle Ringer. I don't want to try to wind it because I don't want to mess anything up. But look at how intricate that is. It's a really neat turtle. I absolutely love this fox, but it's $1,200. I'm not sure what its function would be, other than being a very cool decorative piece. It has to also serve some purpose, I think. Wow, now I'm even more tempted to sell my swung glass vases because uh, I have uh, quite a few in these sizes. That one in the back is a beautiful blue color. It's not uh, really an aqua blue, it's more of a cobalt. It's $275 though. Some really nice swung glass vases. That is a great <laughs> Italian cat. Italy glazed terracotta cat, 18 inches, $175. That would not be unshippable. We could probably ship that, but I'm not sure I could pay $175 for it. All right, well, I am competing a little bit with the music. It seems to be extra loud today, but I did just find this plate, and I love the design of it. It has lots of gold fish. Uh, they're very, like, vibrant. Um, it's $10. I turned it over. It does say Dresden, Germany, and there is a marking there. Um, so I think I'm going to grab that for only 10 bucks, just because the gold is, is so bright. There are some great pieces in this case right here, specifically those two Palatnik owls in the back from Brazil. I don't think I've ever seen the owls before. I'm kind of digging them, but uh, the one in front is $100 and the one behind that is $120. I'm just not quite sure on those. 
I really love this dresser set here. It says it ha even has an unused puff and two perfume bottles. Uh, they want $125 for that. They're all matchy matchy. I feel like that's a good price for it at $125. There are no discounts on it though. And so I'm a little bit hesitant. That's, you know, that's a big investment for it to sit for a hot minute. There are a few pieces of pottery that I've noticed in this case uh, that I want to get into. Um, let's see, where was it? Oh, the cat down here. This is $20 and this is 15% off. Uh, so we could get 15% off of that $20. And then over here, there was also a um, crow bowl for $25. I kind of like that. I also love the horse for $25. I don't know. <laughs> Decisions, decisions. I'm gonna have to get a key anyway, so I'm just right now kind of just browsing. Oh my gosh, I had to like stop and then back up to get, to get a look at this beautiful fish face. The last one I had, I broke. If you guys remember that, it was very tragic. I was very upset by it, even if I didn't show it on camera. Um, this one is $300. It's bohemian glass, but if you look up here, it's 40% off of that $300, and I think that might be worthwhile. I had a very uh, a smaller one sell for over $200, so um, you think 40% off $300. We're looking at $99, no. No, more than that. Well, you know, it'll be it'll be a good deal. So I think I'm gonna also pick up. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm also in love with these two Halloween pieces back here. They look like they're just painted ceramics that you know anyone and everyone did back in the <laughs> 70s and 80s. But the one in the back is so nicely done. She looks like professionally painted, and uh, she is $38 though. The one up front with the big eyelashes that reminds me of like 1990s, 1980s. They are great. All right, so I just went through and I got the cat and the bird cup, and now I'm trying to remember what else I had picked out of these cases. Okay, well, I'm kind of in love with this dresser tray here. It's a sweet little dog looking at a rabbit. You can kind of see the doghouse there in the background. It's uh, signed by the artist Mal Her. They have $195 on it, but it is 20% off, so it's about 40 bucks off. I don't know, I just I love these hand painted trays when they have animals and stuff on them because I always see the flowers over and over again, so it's nice to see something different. As I'm looking at this, I notice this up here. It looks like in Poli. They have a check encased glass deco or MCM. So I guess this would maybe be Tango Glass. They have 49 on that. Um, LLG is the number on that. Not sure if that one has any discounts or not. It's kind of confusing. I guess not because it's on top of here. So we'll just set it back. Okay, well our total spend at Adams Antiques was $384. Um, it started out kind of slow, going through the booths. Um, I spent a lot of time just looking. And then when I got into the cases is when I really started to find some great stuff. Uh, you know, and sometimes that's how it goes. And as you saw, you know, there were decently priced stuff in the cases. I feel like a lot of people avoid cases because they assume that all of the expensive stuff goes into the cases, but we got some really nice pieces of pottery for 20 bucks and I'm pretty pleased with that. So we got some good stuff today. I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.